What's up guys, this is Matt from Merrick Patriot News, and today I have a video for you guys that has Carrie Lake with Roger Stone, and he's talking to her about Ron DeSantis, and they get into the conversation about him running for president, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the video. Uh, if you had a message for Governor DeSantis, what would it be? Well, I've been outspoken on this, and I've taken a lot of criticism for it, but there's only one man that can get us out of the mess we're in, and that man is Donald John Trump. And Ron DeSantis has been an effective governor, and the people of the great state of Florida just reelected him. And I'm assuming that they're, that they're assuming that he will represent them and work hard for them. It's a great job to have. He should stay there in Florida and help the people of Florida. I think it's really unfortunate if he's running and the taxpayers are paying for it. And this is what is starting to look like with his trips around the country. And, and, you know, obviously I don't control his schedule, but if he is running, the people should know about it. And I don't think they're going to be happy that they're footing the bill for this, as you called it, shadow campaign. I believe that Ron DeSantis should run in 28, and I think he'll, he would be uh, very likely successful. I agree with Carrie Lake completely on this. He needs to wait till 2028 and run for president, not run now. Uh, the only reason I think he's thinking about running out or doing the shadow campaign is because he thinks Donald Trump is going to drop out or is going to be so bogged down with these lawsuits and criminal cases, he's going to just uh, not be able to run. And if I had to guess, I would say someone in his sphere of influence is giving him bad advice and get him to go out there and maybe even destroy his political career by running against Donald Trump and backstabbing Donald Trump. But let's go ahead and take a look at some more of the video. But it says a lot about a man's character when they, they stab somebody in the back, especially as somebody who helped make them. And there's no doubt about it that President Trump, he really, really put his neck out for Ron DeSantis when he endorsed him. He was way behind. He was losing to a apparently meth addict pervert. DeSantis was about to lose to a meth addict pervert when a man by the name of Donald Trump came in and saved the day and really saved Florida. Well, she's 100% right again. If it was for Donald Trump, he would not be in the position he is where he could run for president in 2028 and probably win. And really he wouldn't be in the position he is now as one of the best governors in the country. And uh, it's all because Donald Trump endorsed him in his first race almost uh, five years ago. And if it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for Donald Trump, he wouldn't be where he's at today. So he needs to show loyalty and go out there and endorse Trump and forget about these people that are convincing him to run for president in 2024. And so I think he should uh, look deep into his heart and say, what's the right thing to do here? The right thing to do is to show that you are of character that you don't disrespect people who have helped you and you don't stab them in the back. And I think that Ron DeSantis will make the right decision, I hope, and, and serve out his term for the people of the great state of Florida. All right, guys, this is a perfect example of why people love Carrie Lake so much. Because she just goes out there and says the things that are on her mind and in her heart. She tells the truth and she just is completely honest. And not only that, she gives great advice. And I think if Ron DeSantis is smart, he would actually take this advice and do exactly what she said that she, he needs to do. And that's run in 2028. But guys, this is my opinion. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Share this content. It helps with the algorithm. We'll talk to you later. Peace.